to five minutes of faith. Tonight I'm going to be trying a beer from the White Hag Brewery. Um, it's been around for a couple of years now and is located in County Sligo. Um, I've had a few of their beers and I've really enjoyed them so I wanted to try this. This is a special edition beer. Um, it is their Black Boar which I've had before but it is barrel aged in whiskey barrels and it is 10.2 percent and we all know how I love barrel aged beers. This is an imperial oatmeal stout um, and it comes in, I think I said it comes in at 10.2 percent. But anywho, the interesting thing about this is it is barrel aged in Scottish whiskey barrels which uh, no other Irish brewer has done yet. Um, and the whiskey barrels are apparently from the highlands which means that it would go give like, it won't be as peated as some of the other areas in, in Scotland. Um, you've got the likes of Glamorangi and Oban there, um, which are not as peated um, as some of the other whiskeys, like Lefroig and Lagavulin, but, um, and those are not from the Highlands. Um, but then, then you can get, depending on which part of the Highlands it's from, you might get um, a bit more peated, like Glendronic, but still they wouldn't be like holy smokes, I guess is what you'd say. So interested to see like how much smoke is imparted on this beer and what other fruitiness you've got from, from the whiskey itself. So anyhow it's got um, a little bit of a waxy color on it so I, I tried to take that off as best I could so hopefully I can get this, <laughs> can this, get this cap off because I'm uh, not sure how far I got the Might need to dig into it a bit more with my knife, sadly. I might have to have an intermission while I take the cap all the way off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be back in a second. I had to jerry rig the um, cap off or the wax on the cap off with a knife. So this is not children friendly beer, just so you know. Don't give this to your children. So here we are. And it is a very, very dark black color. Um, the head is very nice, medium thickness foam, um, light brown color. It's definitely got a, the first thing I'm smelling actually is the whiskey, the scotch whiskey. Yep. Um, smell the peat, the fruitiness, actually in the whiskey as well, um, and the oak of the barrels. That's actually a huge thing I'm getting off this. It's almost like you're smelling, smelling whiskey, to be honest. If you cover my eyes, I'd almost be like, this is whiskey. Other than the fact that it's very cold, and um, you might get a hint of chocolate off of it, but you can get a hint of chocolate off of whiskey as well, to be honest. So, that's quite interesting. This actually smells just like, just like a Scottish whiskey. Now, if you taste it, it does not taste like whiskey. Hold on. I'd say the first um, hint of flavor I'm getting off this is a deep, dark, chocolatey note to this. It's got a rich, full body to it, um, which is very nice. It's very nice, rich beer. Hints of whiskey as you as you go along. So it's like chocolate peat. I think that's what it is. It's chocolate peat. It's like you covered peat in chocolate, but it's definitely not overdone. I think sometimes when you put a, I've had beers where they've been um, barrel aged in a full on peated beer, like peated, peated whiskey, and it's been too much. It's been like licking a chimney, and you didn't get any hint of the beer in there as all, at all. And that's way too much overdone, so I didn't like that at all. Um, I think you don't want like in your face like peat smoke when you're tasting a beer, especially if it's supposed to be just barrel aging is supposed to be enhancing the beer, not overpowering the beer. And this actually, yeah, it's, it's a very nice enhancement to the beer. Um, uh, and it's got a great mouthfeel. It's a nice rich beer to do it with. So um, the high percent of the beer, you know, helps encompass or take on the flavors of the whiskey barrel. And so it, you know, they blend really well together, um, and, you know, it, the whiskey barrel imparts the flavors the way that it should. I think they did a really good job as far as choosing the whiskey barrel. Um, it did, you know, 
And as far as how long they aged it for, um, a lot of times, you know, you might not age it long enough, or perhaps too long, depending. Um, so I think they did a good job doing that, and the whiskey imparted the right, or the whiskey barrel imparted the right flavors onto the beer, and they meshed well together, and came out with a really, really nice, balanced, well done beer. So that's good beer, and I am actually not a, like I, I like lightly peated whiskeys, but I don't like hugely in your face peated whiskeys. Um, I mean, I can drink them, but I'm not. They wouldn't be the first thing I go to. So. You know, I, I find that's very, very drinkable, and I like the hints of smoke and peat off of it. So, very well done. Cilantro, enjoying this. Hopefully they do some more barrel aging in the future with other types of whiskey barrels. And that is that. So if you do find a um, bottle of the Black Boar barrel aged, I don't think there's a lot more out there as far as I can tell. It was limited in edition. But if you do come across it, um, I would recommend picking it up. So that's it for me. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Cheers up!